podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. You know the saying, stay hungry, stay humble. Boxing Voice I'm hungry, I'm humble in defeat, and I'm going to remain humble in victory. This is it, right? Dardy Beyonce Productions. I just wanted to go on a great boxing masterclass boxing and also show the sweet science of this lovely sport. Man, the first time was so nice, I had to do it twice. <laughs> I'm prepared to the best of my capability, and I pray that I get a win. Look at him, like, I love Mike Tyson, how he came into the game on some different kind of vibe. You know what I mean, man? It takes a crazy man to want to fight, you know what I mean, day in, day out. The hardcore sport, as you said, no silk shoes. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. We got a special treat. Our co-host, Michael Gross, the boss in Indiana, has communicated with everybody's favorite trainer, the man of the hour, Terrence Crawford's trainer, Brian Bo Mac McIntyre, is on the line. Brian, thanks first and foremost for taking out the time to come on the show. We know you're a busy man. You have plenty of uh, elite level fighters to be training, so we just want to tell you first and foremost, we appreciate your time. Mike, take it away. Happy New Year, by the way, Brian. Happy New Year, Zach. What's going on, Mr. Uh, McIntyre, man? Hopefully you've been having a good New Year's. We've seen Maurice Hooker uh, fight, I believe, about two weekends ago. He's coming off an uh, impressive knockout. But what everybody's been talking about, everybody's been talking about how Terrence Crawford has become more vocal, seems like, in the public's eye uh, on Twitter. Um, with the Earl Spence thing, did they really have a conversation? They sure did. They had it yesterday, man. And uh, they came to terms with that. The, that both of them want to fight, and uh, uh, they uh, should be getting put together here in the near future. So we can expect the Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford fight in the in twenty twenty. Yeah, uh, definitely that. That yeah, definitely that. That's what we expected. And do you believe that Earl's one hundred percent, or are you more happy to see him have a fight before Terrence facing him? Uh, I, I would, I would, uh, would like to see him have a fight first because you know I don't want after Terrence beat him, I don't want them. No excuses to be said that he wasn't a hundred percent. Why did the shift come away from Sean Porter? Because we had Bob Arum on it, and he stated that he wanted, you know, says possibly make that Sean Porter fight if uh, Terrence and Sean could agree on it. So, what what shifted from Sean Porter to Errol Spence? Well, first of all, it, it's about what Terrence wants to do, and like Terrence always said. He was called. He he wants the uh, champions. And Porter don't have a belt no more. So what's the use of fighting? So who got the belts? Many and uh, many and uh, spins. So that's who we going after. Them two fighters. So do you think that you can get Manny Pacquiao in the ring next? Uh, we we just heard you say that Spence probably going to have a fight before. So if Terrence can't fight Pacquiao or Spence, isn't the next best thing a guy like Sean Porter who look damn good against Earl Spence? Well, I, well, uh, Terrence has been in the gym for like the last two weeks, so uh, we haven't really sat down yet to go over the next fight, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be for a title. So, uh, what what is uh, Terrence Crawford's, uh, I guess, uh, trajectory in terms of comeback? Uh, when 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 will we see him back? Are you looking first quarter? Is it the uh, second half? First quarter, yeah, the first quarter. So, we'll do no, we'll do uh, April, May, somewhere around there. And is he getting to go back home, or is it Madison Square Garden, or none of that has been even relayed to you at this point? Yeah, we we ain't, we ain't even we ain't even talked about none of that yet, man. 
So, so what's your thoughts? I'm, I mean, obviously you're on Instagram, and, and I know people have to be tagging you or making you aware. Uh, what's been your thoughts of Terrence as of late being very vocal, speaking his mind? And even when he's not speaking his mind, he had his boy speak his mind on his live. I mean, w- w- how do you receive all that? I, I like it, man. I like it. I like that that uh, Bud is uh, tweeting like that. Uh, he, he letting everybody know he want to fight. They can fight tomorrow if they fight. If they want to fight. If they want to make the fight. So I like that. You know, this is what he's been talking about for like the last year and a half. Is I want to fight Spence, man. I want to fight Spence. He's gonna. He's he say, keep telling me from time to time that hey, he's gonna be Spence ass and shit. You know. So if he's talking about it and keep talking about it, eventually it it'll come to some to some truth. Can you confirm or deny if there was ever a contract sent from uh, Bob Arum, Terrence Crawford's side, to Earl? Because in one of the tweets, Terrence Crawford says, sign the contract. So I just want to know, was there an offer now, sent? Say that again. I said in one of the tweets that Terrence Crawford made, he told oh, Earl. Yeah, man, we've been, to, we've been, we've been trying to get uh, Spence uh, since last year, man. So uh, uh, it's been offered sent and, and uh, uh but you know they got their own agenda over there. In terms of the offer, if let's say Spence came out and said the only way I would take this fight is sixty forty, do you think that's acceptable, or do you think that 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 this is a fifty fifty fight? It's a fifty fifty fight, man. It's a fifty fifty fight. I agree with you. I I definitely agree. Yeah. Now. First off, I'm going to say I love uh, the way that Terrence ha- had his boy talking. But there are some people that are out there and saying, like, why Terrence just won't do that? Why Terrence won't just get on the camera and say all those things that, that he was saying? Because we heard him coaching him now. We can't say that he wasn't coaching him a, a little bit. But why why is Terrence not in front of the camera more? We've seen, him, we've seen his, his attitude when he played Andre Ward and, and, and Ping Pong. It was very, very aggressive, very funny. You know what I'm saying? And we've seen him against Jose Benavidez there's outside of the ring and that's the kind of Terrence Crawford I feel like the sporting world needs what do you say to that well you know it's it, it, you know it, it's it's whatever you get with Terrence man if he in that mode then uh you'll get him in that mode then you'll see what y'all want to see if you're going to get him in the mode where he laid back man just being cool that's just how he is but overall man he's a cool cat he's very approachable and uh, he he's a killer inside that ring. So, coach, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to some questions from the one people. One more, one more, one more, one okay. more, one more. A, a rewind back to December. Tough fight with Kabalowskis. He got caught. Some people say he got dropped. I'm in. A, I'm of the mindset that it wasn't a drop. What do you think? Well, when I seen it, I thought it was a. I thought it was a drop. But when he came back to the corner, I said, did he, did he hurt you? He's like, no, nah, tell him not he didn't hurt me. I was like, okay, okay, cool. All right, but, you know, and then after I watched it, after I watched it, he explained, was explaining it to me later on that night in the hotel, and I watched it. He did get pulled down, uh, get pulled down by Kavlisky's, Kavlisky's, whatever his fucking name is. So, but I asked him, did he hurt you? He was like, no, nah, man, he didn't hurt me. He didn't even seem like he was hurt. And any of those shots that uh, that uh, Kavalis was catching him with. All right, we got why, some, uh, one last thing. <laughs> why did Bud go out there and fight like that? That's that's not the prototypical Bud we see. We see him break down his opponent yeah, well, first couple know, rounds, and that that fight he went out there and well, pretty much yeah, you know that's a that, uh, that was that's a good question. I asked him the same question. He was like, "Man, I just wanted to knock the motherfucker out and shit because he never been stopped, dropped, or nothing. So I wanted to be the first one to do it, you know." And I was like, "Yeah, I know we worked on that, but still, it's a, it's a way to go about it." And it took him a few rounds to to get it in his head to, you know, I got to get in my rhythm. I got to get in my rhythm. Once he got in his rhythm, it was a wrap. All right. Uh, Some from the people. We got Brandon Maurice in Cincinnati that says, after we beat Earl and become undisputed, where we going to party at? I was thinking Jamaica. Oh, I don't fucking know. But don't party and shit, man. 
All right. Yeah, he'll 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 come on the hey, he'll come he'll come undisputed and uh, he'll go home and shit and or he go to the go to the, in his basement and play pool with you know with the homeboys and shit play darts and shit and call it today. So so hold on, man. You telling me after Bud won undisputed at one forty, he ain't celebrating that one bit. He went back to work. No, no, hell no, man. He don't drink. He don't smoke. He don't, he don't do none of that. You leave that shit up to me. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't smoke, so don't don't. So don't y'all get it twisted. I don't do no drugs. I mean, hey man, ain't so nothing wrong, wrong with don't, it, Bob. Don't. Bob do a little puff puff. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait. Yeah, so yeah, Terrence, I, yeah, I did, yeah. So Terrence doesn't drink vodka. No, uh -uh, he don't drink shit. Uh uh. Oh, cause I, I he don't I, so, do so, none of that shit. So then he was being serious. You know, yeah, the you other see, day yeah, you seen that glass. Yeah, the other yeah, day, no, but he said it was water. Yeah, he said it was water. He said it was water, but I'm like, wait, is it really? Everybody doing shots is his water or is his vodka? But no, nah, Chance don't. No, nah, he don't. He don't do that shit. Okay, he don't get down like that. All right, the next one is from David Carwell, definitely in the U.S. He says, "You seem to pick up guys after they've taken a loss, i.e., for example, Herring, Brandt, and Hooker. What do you look for in fighters when you're deciding if you want to train them or not?" I look for the dog in them. They gotta have that dog in them. Gotta have a good work ethic. They gotta have it. Gotta have it, have it in them. And then you, and then you gotta build a build that confidence back up. Get him some good wins in there. And then once you get him a couple good wins and shit, is he if he ready to go back out? Uh, Challenge one of them top guys, and that's the same way we did with with uh, uh, Herring. You know, so cold, see if y'all uh, can remember like if a. Hey, hold on. If y'all can remember, the the first dude Jamel fought, or the second dude Jamel fought, was the dude that dude. He he beat my other hundred and thirty pounder, Ismail Mwindu. He beat him. So I turned right back around. I said, I told Top Rank, I said I want him because I know he was beatable. Mwindu was beating, but he just got caught. Got caught a couple times and shit. And so, you ordinarily those are points. So I was like, okay, put him in there with my other 130 pounds. And see, Jam Jamil ended up, them they're stopping that dude. So you just got to build confidence. Build. I knew he was going to have a lot of confidence come in there, the dude, you know, when, he was, when he came in there. So, but, hey, listen, I won't take that confidence away from you. And now look at him. We're a world champion with one title defense and many, and many more to come. Speaking of your fighters, before I go back to the people's questions, Steven Nelson's going to be taking on a guy. I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but I wanted to get your thoughts on the fact that the person that he chose to train with is Buddy McGirt. But I, that shit, Buddy McGirt can't fight for him. I just see, I just see plenty of guys Buddy McGirt train and get their ass whooped. And so, so one thing you cannot do, you cannot change bad habits in one fight. Now, I think this is their first fight together, so I'm not worried about nothing. He'll come out and try all that this different shit that Buddy might have him do, but all that shit gonna be out the window as soon as he get punched in the mouth. <laughs> Man, because he's gonna resort it. back to what what he knows. You know what I'm saying? Now Steve been with us since since the amateur days. You know, training with him when he was an amateur. You know, when he was getting ready for the Olympics, all of that. And then now uh, he's 15 and 0. So everything that everything that we need Steve to do. He'll, he'll do it. There's nothing new that we'll ask him to do unless we done worked on him for already in camp. So so it's not like talking like uh, jibber-jabber to him in a corner. It's something that we know we, that we worked in day in and day out. You'll see the difference. You'll see the difference in the type of training that what fighters do when they get in the ring. One last question. What's the plan for Ryan Martin, and does that you kid affect him in the states? That who? You kid uh, apparently suspended what? him uh, for like I believe two years. I don't, I don't have Ryan Martin. I know we 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 had talked about it. You know, me and him had a, a good conversation, but it never came to uh, it never came to the head. So you gotcha. know, he's on his own now, or, or wherever he's at. I wish the best of luck for him. All right, we have uh, Christopher Riley says, "What's up next for Maurice Hooker, and is Nelson getting a title shot soon at 168?" Uh, well, uh, next up for uh, Hooker, uh, we're gonna get back into getting back in the gym, 
uh, and then um, Steve went after Steve win this fight. Um, he should be rated uh, one or two uh, in the top three with the WBO, and then we'll go from there. Uh, we got Wapaholics. Arthur A says, "How do you create your own legacy at welterweight, seeing that Spence is still recovering?" Say again. How does Crawford create his own legacy at welterweight while Spence recovers? After, after you beat the shit out of Spence. Okay, all right, fellas, I got to go, man. Uh, my team, my team, ready to check in. All right, all right. Well, thanks, coach. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there you have it. Hope you guys got it in early. Who missed out? Damn, Rail in New Mexico. Ooh, Trav in, uh, in, in Texas. Lids low in Georgia. Ryan, New low. York. Sam D, ruin the 504. J. Will. Oh, man, so many people missed out. Even Killer in Sweden. Hopefully we can get him back on. Next time, next time, man. Next time, get your questions in. Rapido. We're going to go out to the phone lines real quick. Uh, this was a spontaneous show, so you already know. I'm going to give you about, mm, about a minute. Get your thoughts in order and uh, holler at us. These calls are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services, experts in electric vehicle charging stations. For consultations and turnkey installation, visit us at El Camino Electrical Services.com. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. Let's go out to Brandon in Cincinnati. Talk to me. What up, B? J Mac Boomerang. Yo, can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, man, that's was, was spontaneous. I had no idea what was coming up. Uh, great interview. Um, I would have loved to ask, um, hear them questions asked, especially by Jay Will. I'm just curious to know what type of question he had for him. Um, nah, man, uh, Bo Mac, like yeah. I said, he um, keeping the same energy, um, been pretty consistent. Uh, with it, um, Arrow, I mean, not Arrow, uh, Bud, um, saying how much he wanted to fight, talking about how much he wanted to fight, what he going to do him and stuff like that. I mean, just nothing but positivity. I mean, I didn't take much from it. I already knew what I needed to know already, but, I mean, like a great interview. That's my call. All right. I mean, the good part was at least that we know that phone call was for real. It wasn't no, 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 no publicity stunt, so that's always good. We're going to go out to... Mr. PBC in Seattle. Mr. PBC, baby. Boxingwoods.com. I'm the fire. Canelo talking about he believed he can win. Go to my kitchen. Get the sharpest knife. Cut the bullshit out. I don't care what you do good. I do every fucking thing great. Mr. PBC, baby. What up, Don? BC, what's up, M Mike and Ness? What up, champ? Yeah, I didn't know you made a new YouTube channel. My bad. Um, I was still on the old one. Um, yeah, this the backup, this man. Temporary. This the backup, man. We got we got suspended over there, so we right here rocking out. Okay, well, um, I appreciate uh, Boy Man coming on the show and actually showing uh, YouTube uh, the new media some respect, even though it was disrespected by we know who. Um, I like all the questions and stuff and the answers, but it, to me, it's everything's still vague. Um, we all know that uh, El Spence is still coming off recovery. He still wants Manny Pacquiao, which is the best. Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman. I still would rather see that over Terrence Crawford, but I would love to see Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter, and, and I'm not just doing that again and again. I think... Terrence Crawford might have the opportunity to knock him out. He did. He does have a lot of knockouts cut it, recently. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Yeah, Pacquiao did tweet out uh, Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence's name. Then, yeah, uh, but all but, he did was at them. He, yeah. They don't even say nothing. Like, my man. But it was like, I'm ready whenever you are. My man needs something, man. He, he added them under his foundation. Like, 
I mean, it's a, a subliminal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, subliminal. Like, hey, hey, stop asking me to fight. Won't you donate to my foundation? <laughs> no, I doubt that was the intent, but okay. So why add them to your donation tweet? Like, that made zero sense, man. Foundation, your, foundation. your donation tweet probably going to get a lot of traction. You, you, you throw them two names in there. Oh, he, he want to fight them. The, it, fucking internet, the internet going to go crazy. Like, Pac, Pac, y'all know what he's but doing. But that's exactly what I'm saying. He ain't even saying that. He just tagged them on his... On that's, his... that's all you got to do if you pack you out. Ah, let uh, let he, everybody else cloud do the work chasing. for you. Yes. He cloud chasing, let, man. Let everybody else do the work for you. I hear you. N.O., talk to us. What up, N.O.? Mastermind. But I mean, we ain't really get too much information. I would I would like to know what um how much they were offering in that contract, bro. You know that'd have been we could have been the first to know all that shit if the Man, contract was. Said it, though. I, I I asked them would would sixty forty be be uh uh acceptable if Earl came with that offer. He said no, this is a fifty fifty fight. So you gotta imagine if if you offer the contract, that's what you offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder, how, I wonder how much both of them could produce. Like, I wonder how much you know, how much they pro um projecting a fight to be. Like, they they think it's gonna be like a thirty million dollar fight, forty. I, you know what I'm saying? I would like to know what they thinking. Like the um the the networks, like what they what they think about the fight. Um, uh, beside that though, um, we got confirmation that the phone call was made. So. Man, we're we, we looking at the end of the year. What you, what you think? What you think? The end of the year or what? He said it's likely for 2020. I mean, take him at his word. I mean, hopefully. That shit still got to play out, Cut man. It. Yeah, Earl, Earl's still going to do what he got to do. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. He's not going to change them plans, man. Um, CYP, Mike, your text connected. Yo, man, yo, could y'all do me a favor? Could y'all ask the public what my question was? I, I, I see what my question read. <laughs> I'm going to answer it for you, too. Yeah, there you go. That's Because I'm going to ask every single person that you interview, I'm going to ask them the same damn question. <laughs> <for me. laughs> I had to refresh to see it. It wasn't there. Killer was the go. last one at that point. Uh, yeah, man, I was going to ask him, was AJ a legend? You know he legend. <laughs> AJ legend, Will Smith is a legend. Uh, I am legend. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. We're we, we going to get, we get everybody and keep, and keep a poll because uh, Gary Russell was the funniest. Anthony Joshua? <laughs> 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 Anthony Joshua? Nah, That's but that, but we don't know if we don't know if he was being funny because I said AJ, so he had to like ask that in the question form. He was like Anthony Joshua, like that's who you asking. The way my my guy Paul, he Paul for like five seconds, like what? What? Cut it, <laughs> cut it, cut it, cut it, Yo, it, nah, he was funny as hell. He had me laughing. Uh, bomb box and boomerang. What up, Bond? Just listening, going once, twice, three times you're out. Stainless. Oh, fuck murder. Mayhem last words of the stainless. Told you I would kill you, squeeze after I aim it. If you're talking money, then you're speaking my language. Or shut the fuck up and grown folks' conversation. Hopefully we got Tony Harrison too, you know what I'm saying? He just asked what day. What? Uh, uh yo, up? yo, uh, first off, man, y'all niggas know how to treat a motherfucker right. Went through the whole work day. Uh, I got off, niggas got questions for me in a little scorecard. Nigga, you come right back on with the Bomac interview, so shout out to y'all for that. I didn't even get to hear the whole thing. I'm gonna listen back after this show, man. I don't even give a fuck what the questions was, because I know y'all two cats handled it. Mike, did you get your bud questions in? You got a couple of them, man. Man, that's what's up, man. And did he answer him honestly and truthfully and shit? I mean, he he, he answered him, but you know, you know, he he the trainer of Bud, so you know he's gonna be favorable towards Bud. Of course, of course, you know what I'm saying. But but he came on here and answered them motherfuckers. Y'all know why? Cause y'all don't be on all Bud hate, man. And I appreciate that shit. Ness, you might not be the biggest Bud fan. But you at least try to be objectionable when you can, man. Uh, that's what we need to do more of. I don't know why we keep trying to tear fighters down when we need to be trying to build up the fights, man. Uh, 
I got to listen back, man, like I say, because y'all just gave me the, the, the after work special right quick. So I appreciate that, that shit. So I'm going to end as always, dude. Please cut make sure. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. All right. Killer. Ringer. What up, Killer? Yo. What up? What up? Uh, I keep reading on the internet that um, people are saying, oh, why is, um, why is Bud uh, having a Twitter beef with someone who just came off a car accident? So I can already see into the future that this fight has already lost its luster to some degree. Uh, that if Bud wins, they'll just say, oh, well, it would be different if it was before the accident. I can already see it. That's you why Bud said we want it's, to see it's, him fight it's, first. His, it's trainer, his, his trainer just said they want him to have a fight first. So Exactly. I mean, that, I mean you know that don't matter, though. It's always, I mean... The, why the, won't it? If the, he the looks public, good... The public, the, public will all, the public will always give the excuse. Not They'll if always he looks come good. up with some bullshit. Not if he looks good. If, if Earl comes back and looks like Earl, why would we question it? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, remember what I said. You'll, you'll, you'll see it. You'll see it. Trust me. Remember what I said. You know? Same thing, man. One guy got shot in the head. One guy had a car crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that is true. That is true. Good point, Mike. Uh, let me see. Is Steve on? Because I seen Steve drop off. I hit him back. Don't forget, if, if you're listening right now on YouTube, smash that thumbs up button. We are on the backup channel. And like and subscribe to the backup channel so you can get those no those uh, notifications. Uh, like the video so more people can see it and uh, come and know what we're doing on the backup channel. All right, all right, all right. Let's go out to Florida. Tonight, Roy. That's not ask questions. Like Damn. El Gran Excuses tonight, Roy. Let's not ask questions like that. Let's touch gloves and go to work. Tonight, Roy. Let's go to work. <clears throat> what up, King? Yo, what up, Mike? What up, Ness? Good interview, man. Too bad Champ. it was cut short. Man, Mike, man. Mike asking all them questions, man. We couldn't get to the Patreon questions, man. I'm bad, like, man. You, asked, you was asking good questions, though, man. You was asking some great questions, actually. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, good interview, man. And, 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 and like, uh, kind of like what Stainless was saying, man, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Um, you know, Ness might come off as a bud hater, but you definitely still do, you know, shows, uh, uh, that are about positive things and you bring Bo Mac on and, you know, try to, try to not just, uh, push one narrative when it comes to bud, man. Whereas a lot of other YouTube channels just spend hours and hours and hours just constantly bashing him and, and, um, you know, so the objectivity is nice, man. And the fact that you guys are always doing topics about everybody in boxing, you know, you don't talk about the same people every damn day, man. That's a lot of hard work and dedication, man. Much appreciated, dog, because, um, you know, that's what keeps us tuned in all the time, you know, all day, every day with y'all. So, so yeah, appreciate the show, man. And, um, you know, yeah, thanks, man. Brandon, man, salute. I just seen your question, man. Great question for Harrison. Don't even waste it on here, but talk to us. Cincinnati or what? What's going on? This guy's mic still yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, here I am. It's kind of be acting weird sometimes. What up, Mike? What up, Ness? Salute to y'all for having my salute to y'all for having my favorite trainer on the show. You know, I'm I'm hoping it's for 2020, man. But um, yeah. So I'm I'm excited if it happened. If it's a fight in between, I mean, it is what it is. But hey, man, that motherfucker Earl Spence is crazy. What I say yesterday, he loved trolling Keith Thurman. Mike, I seen your video early, man. Dude will not leave Keith Thurman alone, man. <laughs> Why he always on his neck like that? God damn. They drop a list fight, of top man. five. I think deep down, Earl still want that fight. Probably do, man, but that shit was funny, man. He lived, he, I mean, he loved fuck with that dude, man. That shit be hilarious. But yeah, if that shit happened 2020, I'm excited. Glad them cats got on the phone and talked like men instead of, you know, using the Twitter fingers. Tank Davis, you should uh, try to do the same thing with Tevin Former, man. Let's cut all the Twitter shit out. Cut it, Speak like cut it, cut it, cut it. JT, New Orleans. Yeah, what's up, yo? Good interview, uh, 
I don't got too much to say about it. I was just listening. I caught the interview kind of late, but uh, Mike was asking some good questions and stuff like that. And um, just keep giving us some good interviews. Shout out to TVV. All right, thank you so much. Seven California. What up, Seven? Hey, I'm just listening right now. I'm at work, y'all. All right, champ. Steve in the UK. What up, Steve? I'm just listening, guys. What up, man? All right. Stonebone Box in Colorado. Stonebone, my guy. What's happening? What's happening, keep, your, keep your foot on, on the goddamn neck, Stonebone. I'll follow you on uh, IG. <laughs> yeah, I'll be trying to crack motherfuckers up, man. That should be funny to me, man. Hey, man, yeah, I'm glad. I couldn't, I'm, I couldn't believe y'all caught him on the uh, the fight week, man. I was, I was reaching out to some people. They've been busy out there. They cut the... Shout out to Steven Nelson, man. Good luck, man. We still praying for you. We know mom looking down on you, man. It's a big opportunity. Take advantage of it. And uh, do do the town proud, man. I'm all going to be behind you just like Bud, man. And, uh, man, good good questions, man. I wish you'd had a little more time so we could have got a little more in depth. And the Porter fight, possible. But Nash, you're going to probably get your dream, man. You're going to get mandated Danny Garcia. That's who we fighting, Danny Garcia. April, May, Danny Garcia versus Bud Crawford. Mark it right now. If Danny don't duck it, if Danny don't duck that smoke, that fight is happening in April or May. Mark my words. I'll catch you on the next show. That's the thing, man. Got to think about it. April or May, they offer you that, but they also offering you a unified welterweight title in one more month because Earl's return is in June. And you supposed to fight Earl? That's the thing. I want to, and he couldn't find an article. You know what I mean? Um, but I wish that that there was a mandation, right? So like, if WBC says, "Nah, Danny, you not first, then Danny can't wait for June because you ain't got nothing in June. But you got to think though. When, when the last time the IBF mandated Earl? Not last year. He fought Mike, Mikey uh, Garcia. And Sean nah, Porter. that's what I'm saying. Not IBF. I'm talking about WBC mandates Danny. So know, if WBC but... mandates Danny, then he going to ignore the Crawford order. But if there is no mandation, though. we already know though. If IBF mandates something, they they taking a shit. Oh WBF, yeah, 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 w, yeah. The BBC they'll work with you. You know what I'm saying? Mar- 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 he he got a good. You know what I'm saying? But that's uh, my thing, Mike. I believe. We going I don't got time to go back and listen, but Mauricio said on here they was first. Now Stonebone said he read something that said backwards that 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 now IBF is first and WBC want to wait. If that's true, I don't even care if it ain't no link. I'm just saying if that's true, then that works because now if you're Danny, you can't wait for June because you not the mandatory. So you might as well see what this percentage is it's also no rematch you know you but shouldn't even give danny like one of those small percentages you, you, you should come at danny and give him a respectable like 45 percent or something like that and that's opinion. what i was gonna say this this fight might not have a rematch but if if bob is smart he offers him more and puts a rematch clause in it you know what i mean because you know i don't care who thinks who is the best we just seen it with aj you know what i mean um you you will be doing your fighter a disservice if you don't put a rematch clause in that motherfucking contract. You know, look at poor Anthony Edwards, man. He out here, you know what I mean? Queen City Curl, but never, you know what I mean? He 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 was too cocky, you know what I'm saying? Now Marvin the champ and not Anthony. Who, who is manager, man? Yo, I think he had Jay from Orlando, man. Oh, so. uh, uh, yeah, Jay is his manager, <laughs> right? Jay steady messed my, my man up, man. Oh, no rematch man. clause. Two belts. Arthur, uh, let me see. What is it? Let me see. I just had it pulled up. It's like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Wapaholics. What up, Arthur Wapaholics? You did get your question off. Lucky you. You got in and on time. What's going on, brother? Thank you for supporting on Patreon yes, and dropping sir. a yes, question sir. as well. Yes, sir. Yeah, he ducked, he ducked my question, but it's cool. He a busy man. But my thing is, um, he said he wants Spence to have a fight, and Spence is having a fight in June. So in the meantime, what is what is Bud? Who is Bud gonna fight? I'm, I ain't I ain't trying to see him fight. That's what we asked. Him. He said his next fight gonna be for a know. title. That, that's what he said. So maybe Manny Pacquiao. Mm. Sebastian right. Formella. Cool, but I'm just 
Sebastian Formella. That'd be cool, but I'm just trying to be real. Because Pacquiao I'm ain't trying fighting, to be realistic, but that's my call. All right, Arthur. Arthur, man, thank yeah, you I again for I your... Can't. I'm sorry. You said that's your call. Go ahead. I'll bring you back. What happened? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nah, nah, nah. Go ahead, man. Don't he was, he, he was going to say, I can't see Pacquiao fighting uh, Bud, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. All right, champ. Don't feel rushed, man. You had time still. Thanks for calling in, man. Thanks for dropping your question. We're going out to California. Mr. Infojo. Tell the truth, yo. Tell the truth. This portion of the show we call In the Know. Presented by my brother. Tell the truth, yo. Yo, what up, Mike? What up, Ness? Uh, Big Chip, what up, what up, what up? Uh, uh, uh. What up, my boxing brothers? Yo, man, y'all starting the year off right, man, with the fire interviews, man. Thumbs up, everybody. Yo, he was a little vague, though, but I'm glad that the hardcore boxing fans are keeping this fight alive. Yo, my wish list for 2020, man, shout out to the boxing guys. I hope they listening. Man, I want to see Spence. Uh, uh, versus Crawford, Wilder versus AJ, and uh, Jamel Charlo versus Julian Williams. Man, if I can get those three fights this year, man, shit is gravy. Yo, uh, boxing fans, stop talking about all the reasons why the fight can't happen and start talking about why the fight can't happen and what we can do to make the fight happen, y'all. Stay positive, speak it, believe it, receive it. Shout out to the boxing guys. I'm out. Joe, man, thanks for calling in. Let's see who we got. Man, info Joe. Pat in Beantown. Talk to me. What up, Pat? Sorry about your patience. Yo. Yo, all good, all good. It's just one year, you know. But, uh, no, no, I can't. Uh, just get me because I, I just got on Skype. I ain't been listening. All right, Pat. Uh, let's see who we got. Trey, you talking? What up? Trey, just listening. Going once, twice, no problem. Rail in New Mexico. What up, Rail? Rail, Rail you gotta unmute. Unmute. And rail dropped off. We going to Steve. Talk to me. Steve, I've been calling you, brother. What happened? You've been going off in and out. Yeah, I've been coming. Good afternoon, guys. Yeah, I've been coming in and out. I caught bits and pieces. I've been a little busy today. But, uh, yeah, man, you guys are working hard. You know, good interview from what I, you know, the most of what I heard. You guys are, are getting the main players in the sport on the show. That's why I support you guys. I like the hard work you guys are doing. That's why everyone out there support what you can to this channel. And, uh, you know, these dudes out here chiping, typing, you know, they need to call in because uh, I've noticed a few individuals, and I believe they're from the U.K., they come on here and they troll and do this and that. And, uh, hey, man, call in. Steve, you muted yourself, Steve. Yeah, somebody muted Steve. You're playing this shit, man. Yeah, someone else is muting me, but that's okay. But yeah, basically, hey, keep up the good work. That's all right. Everyone's out here playing games. I'm sure that was a mistake, champ. Yo, please, uh, you know, I don't even know how you get controls to mute someone. That's crazy. Uh, just pop up on the screen, like for real. Like, it's just crazy. It, it is, but just have respect for the call. Everybody gets a call. You're going to get yours. Have respect for, for your fellow caller. Sir, yes, sir. Rel, New Mexico, talk to me. Yo, my fault. I think I muted the last caller by mistake. My fault. That was a mistake. Technical error. But, hey, I just want to say, I was the fucking next question up before the interview ended. It was good up until when it stopped. But uh, I really want to know, is it relevant for Terrence Crawford to fight Kell Brooks, someone who beat Sean Porter in the USA and fought Errol Spence Jr.? He lost. Errol almost knocked out his eye socket, but ain't that still a rev relevant fight? I just wanted to hear that shit from the trainer. I just wanted to know. 
And um, I mean, shit, some people would else. say that Kel was struggling to make the weight, and he'll be weight drained and things like that. But b- before the fight, okay. So he, so Kel just really like one fifty four now. He ain't even one forty seven no more. I mean, last time he fought, I, I thought it was at like one fifty, like one fifty two or something like that. Oh, do you know who his last opponent was? I don't even remember. I, I, if I'm correct, it was Michael Zephyr. same dude that uh that uh that Jeff Horn just fought. He beat Jeff Horn. That at was least. 2019. That was 2019. Yeah. Early, 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 early 2019. And he beat. And he beat somebody else, like uh, somebody with an S. Who that? Kelbro. He had two fights last year. Um, at 54, he, he he fought some dude with an ass, some European dude. Uh, right. Twan in in North Carolina. What up, Twan? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's good, Ness? What's good, Mike? What up, good, homie? You the man? Yeah, I, I caught it. I caught the end of it too, but I think Bo Matt just running in his mouth, man. I don't think uh. I don't think Crawford. <clears throat> I don't think Crawford's gonna fight now. One of them this year. So I think Al uh, Hamer still gonna <clears throat> probably Al uh, Hamer probably just gonna uh, wait it out to about next year, 2021. But <clears throat> I don't think many many Pacquiao want that smoke. I think Pacquiao gonna end up fighting <clears throat> Errol before he fight Terrence. But that's my call. Keep doing your thing. All right, champ. And shout out Kale to Brook Boston Boys. Did, did not fight in 2019. But who's the two fights that he had after Earl? He had uh, C. C. Real Yeah, I remember yeah. that fight. That's with an S, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, and then he fought right. Michael Zafara. Then he took the whole 2019 off. Wow. See, that's crazy, yo. I, I, they talked about him so much in nineteen that I, he, he stood in my mind all nineteen. I thought those two fights happened in nineteen. That's crazy. That's, you, you ain't the only guy. I, I absolutely thought the same thing. <clears throat> Hilarious. Uh, let me see here. Uh, before we get to the next call, I just want to quickly uh, try and uh, drop the link. I guess I'll do it after the next call, right? All right. So we got the rail. And we need to get to Checkmate Box and talk to me. What up, Checkmate? Checkmate, you got to unmute yourself, champ. Are you going on a tangent right now? You know he was. (laughs) Nah, hey, hey. Hey, what happened to the other channel? I just noticed, um, I just noticed... Today that it was under Nesta Gibbs instead of the Boxing Boys. Yeah, man, they shut us down, man. They said that we put out harmful and abusive content. Oh damn! Oh okay. All right. Um, well, listen, I'm gonna say it like this um, regarding Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. I definitely want that. However, I believe that fight should be for under. Disputed, and for people who don't understand, Bob Arum start pushing the notion for Errol Spence and and, and uh, to fight, um, you know, f- for this fight last year. He wants this why? Because he prepped Loma. He wants Loma to have the undisputed. If Errol Spence and and uh, um, Crawford fight for undisputed, the number one and number two rank welterweight for the number one pound for pound, that would ruin his you know his marketing campaign for Lil Loma, okay? Because the world will be watching that. That's like the Super Bowl of boxing. It's only one belt in between that, and that's a PBC held belt. I don't know why people can't understand. Boxing needs that big fight. We haven't had anything like that in such a long time. That will be that will be global. And so for people to push that fight now... Yeah, but you gotta understand, understand bro. You gotta understand. Your plan is let Earl go through the fucking World War Three and then meet up with Crawford for Undisputed because it would be big. The fuck? Nah, that ain't fair. He got to fight all the tough guys. And you're, not, you're thinking short-sighted. You don't see 
how huge this is. You don't understand. Bruh, Bob I, Aaron I, I see his schedule. Position. I see his schedule, and it's an unfair schedule if you're just going to let Crawford yeah, sit on the other side. Yeah, you got to give Crawford some of them guys. Like, you got to give him Thurman. You got to give him a Porter. You got to give him a Denny if, right to you. There's a belt right there, right? You got Manny got a Damn, man, you went out. Sorry. Yeah, every that, time and, you get you, you can't get excited no, this is on the Skype. Stupidest thing in the world. Number one, let me let me let me say this. Look, number one, if if Bob Arum gets, let's say he fights Manny and he gets the number, gets the, it makes no sense. Why would you defuse the Super Bowl of boxing? You guys think so it's such short term. I just don't get it. Yeah, this no, you're right. Amazing. Hey, Bob, Bob loves everything you're saying. He like, thank you. I wish there was more checkmate boxing out there. Wanting my fighter not to have to fight nobody while Earl Spence goes to war, of course. Then at the end of the day, who's gonna be more shop worn? Look at the fight Earl was just in with, with Porter, face all swollen. Come on, that should take off for you. So you saying there's only gonna be one side of going in there hard? That don't even make sense, bro. You're crazy. Boomerang. We went to Boomerang. We're going to Boomerang. Uh, it's, uh, stainless. What up? What up, Stainless? Go on once. Two whites. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what Checkmate was talking about right there. Uh, if you want to talk about something valid, it should have been Will King intro on how that shit need to be changed. Uh, I don't know what he on right now. Uh, yeah, Bud do need to get some better fights, man. It, I mean, we we've been busy accepting whatever we can get, you know, as uh, as far as a Bud Crawford fight, because they ain't letting him fight nobody. So, if y'all want to stop with the argument that he ain't got nobody, he ain't fighting nobody, then you know what I'm saying. Step across the street. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying. It's not gonna take away from his his win when he beat Bud, when he beat Errol for me. You know what I'm saying. But I just don't want to hear that from the mask. You know what I'm saying we gotta get the, we gotta get better on that, man. But push the thumbs up. Share this in every episode of that Boxing Voice podcast because it's TBV for life. And if you ain't on Patreon, it's because you're stupid. Shout out to El Camino. Peace. Hey, Stainless, man. Thanks for your call, big homie. Champ, champ. Thanks we for all got the support. CYP, Boomerang. Got to sprinkle in a little CYP right now, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a question, man. I heard something on one of, the, uh, on one of our after shows. <laughs> I gotta hear from y'all though, cause y'all y'all can confirm it. Is that one white boy out of Border Wars? Yeah, he took a new job. Okay, he took a new job. Okay, okay. It must be duck season. It must it must be it must be um like Nintendo game duck hunt. They must be using that motherfucker's face, and they need to get his graph together so they can start shooting that shit because he a fucking duck. But anyway, um. I, I heard what dude said, and, and it actually makes sense. When you under, when when it's an undisputed, back in the day, it was just one person, so it really didn't matter how many fighters you fought, blah blah blah. Everybody who fought you could have been undisputed if they beat you. So it's just all these damn belts that, that that make it an issue. But if everybody thinks one and two is Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, vice versa, then it really doesn't matter who any of them dudes fight if all the belts are on the line. It don't matter who they fight. If you believe they're one and two, who cares if he fight Danny or he fight uh, Sean Ford? It don't matter if everybody consistently believes that's one and that's two. So I get where he's coming from on that. I would like to see Terrence Crawford fight one of them dudes too myself, but at the same time, it ain't taking away nothing for me. If Earl Spence wins or Terrence Crawford wins, that dude should be undisputed. Number one, number two. Cut it, cut it, cut it. J Matt. Yeah. Oh, yo. Y'all get me? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, j Man. Hold on a minute. Damn. Dom, I'm sorry, bro. Go ahead for it. He been texting. I'm my bad. What up, Dom? He said you got to go. Go ahead, Dom. Let's, let's speak about it. I mean, um, I really think that uh, Terrence Crawford should fight Sean Porter, and I'm, I'm kind of tired of the deflect of maybe Kell Brook. And I don't want to see that fight. I don't want to see him fight Kell Brook. And I don't think Kel Brook is in the same weight division. I don't know what's up with him. I want to see him fight Sean Porter. Sean Porter number three. So let's get it in. You have belts. If he's your homeboy, do it like Deontay Wilder did. Give your homeboy a chance. If he beats you, he got the belt. If he don't, you respectfully sit him down and tell him I'm going after L. Spence. Let's stop doing this shit. The Sean Porter is right there. 
motherfucking Ness. Get Sean Porter's dad or Sean Porter on <clears throat> next. I want to see this pushed. Uh, Terrence Crawford's talking all this shit during all this time. I, I just want to see the fight. If you're going to call out Earl Spence, he has to go through Sean Porter. Sean Porter's a gatekeeper. Even motherfucking Max <laughs> Kellerman said that. <laughs> cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Got down dumb, boy. I swear, boy. You got to entertain the call every time, man. Every time. JT. Boomerang. What up, JT? I got it, though. It's funny Dom speak on... Uh, Somebody's doing deflection, but I can remember a call when him and Stonebone on it who was deflecting. That's funny. Um, for the Sean Porter fight, I don't care if he make the fight next. Mike, did you say, uh, did he say he got a championship fight next? That's what Bo Max said. That's what Bo Max said. Uh, they going to fight so Alexander whatever that is. I don't know who it is, if it's a, for a title. I mean, we got to look at it, see who it is. I did want to touch on this point right quick. It's, um, I love how Bowman promoting the um, boxers, the boxing lifestyle. Some of these fighters need to take heed to and look at what the pound for pound best doing in sport with the no drinking. Um, that's actually a good trade he spoke on Terrence Crawford. I didn't know that for certain, but that uh, definitely solidifies why he's dominating the sport the way he is. He just trained and he's just a well around athlete. Um, the championship, but uh, uh, I ain't got too much on it, Bowman. They got the interview cut got cut short, so it lost a lot of momentum, but uh. I didn't get much from it, um, and I forgot my points I wanted to ask, but, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. Oh, no, 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 quick one. Uh, he said, uh, y'all asked him, man, fuck it, I forgot it. All right, go ahead. Yeah, that best feuding might might be the route to go. You be best feuding, and then you, you got Bob Aaron. You, you have him petition the WBA to do with the, what they did with Daniel Jacobs and Gennady Golovkin, and uh, it was one more that, uh, example that I had in mind, but I can't. Think of it right now, but yeah, man, you 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 do that and uh, see how that goes. I, I, I don't mind that the best you knock his ass off right quick, get his belt. Manny, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Man, I just don't see it. I'm not trying to be pessimistic. You know, I'm the most optimistic boxing fan we got. The issue is, you let Manny go, it's gonna cause more, and you are gonna make less. It's a co promotion now, like so, or co broadcast. Will it be? Man, you yeah. think Fox just gonna let him walk across the street? They told they, you, Wagner they already up? told you. Listen, just let me finish this last little Great. bitty sentence. Wagner already told us he's trying to do four to five in this year. We already in twenty twenty. So man, Manny is one of those. He ain't gonna let it walk across. But Manny got one fight left, though, right? Exactly why he won't let it walk across. You guys are coming with that bag because the way it had been talking, I mean, it's gonna be some players out here for. Nah, for Manny. Manny got a four fight deal. I mean, Manny had a um, Manny had a a, 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 um, a certain amount deal, not a uh, one fight and a match right. So he's in. He got to give up his last fight. That's why yeah, Eddie's yeah, waiting. Yeah, yeah. He, he gonna have one, one, one more fight on Fox for sure. But after that, though. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, that's different. But yeah, yeah. but how the hell is Manny gonna? Come on, Bo Mac ain't thinking. How is Manny gonna have his last fight with PBC before the first quarter and fight Crawford before I know, the I know, first I know, quarter? I know. It ain't I know. Not. Manny that's fights. Why you fight best Manny duty. fights. Listen, Manny fights either in March or he only fighting in November. Yeah, that's why you fight best dude. You know what I'm saying? You knock his ass out, get that WBA. Bob, just, do your thing. Go petition I just said that. I just said that. But the thing with that is it ain't going to be a, a unification because it's a regular. Should they run around hitting niggas champions at a no, regular? No, I get you. They, they are champions, well, but they can't ESPN unify. ESPN ain't going to have that shit up for a unification, watch. Nigga. <laughs> that think? would be interesting. That would you be interesting. That, boy, she is. Bro, that, you know, you know, um, WB. I mean, PBC is in bed with with WBA. Crazy. Yeah, 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 I got right. an email about some dudes I never even heard of fighting for WBA. <laughs> I'm like, who are, bro? The whole Boy, undercard. I think the February first. Who fighting February first? She did. Where? At? I don't know anybody. I'm gonna read them off. Let me get to yeah, this last to the boomerang. Uh, right quick. Uh, we got no. Talk to us. Oh. See, now check this out, you hear me? This is what I was thinking about. Now, now hear me out on this. 
Earl coming back, fresh out the fresh out the car crash. He he do the he do the let's say he do the tune up or he do Danny, fresh out of the crash, right? Boom, he come back at the end of the year, and he and and, and, and he beat he beat Crawford. for you hear me? So that's a movie, right or wrong. That's a movie right there. He come out I'm of the movies. crash. Yeah. You wish that and I want to stop. But I, I, I feel yeah. you. See, dog. They, I, I think they're going to get Denzel Washington. They're going to get him to play <laughs> Derrick. You know what I'm saying? That shit going to look like glory. You hear me? That's, that shit going to look like glory. Like it did. Come on, son. They got him. Look, he's training after the accident. You did. Biting down with the new. He got the new mouthpiece in his mouth, you heard me? Because you know you know. Cut it. Cut it. And I got the script ready for him, boy. <laughs> Real. But, uh, but check out this. Yeah. Check out this card, though, my nigga. You got Michael Coffey on, on this card. You got Dion what Nicholson card? on this card. I'm guessing since you said it, it's uh it's WBA, it, it, it gotta be that PBC card in uh in uh Biloxi, right? Damn. You got your your Dennis Ugas, you know what I'm saying, versus Mike Dell. Oh, that yeah. that's probably it. What was that February first? Yep, that's the headline. In the Biloxi one. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the casino. Yep, I seen that. I seen that, bro. Why Nico Hernandez? Po- Damn, bro, Nico Hernandez signed to the bare knuckle fighting, bro. How you a 2016 Olympia? See, whoa, that's whoa, whoa, that's whoa. why the y'all dude, say yo nest. Did the dude that was fighting on the zone? Or top rank? Yeah, Nico. He, he signed to bare knuckles. Bare knuckles, yeah, bro. Cause just... them flop dog, they don't eat, man. They throwing you twenty five thousand. You be on HBO for that shit. Twenty five thousand. That's a fucking Friday night fights on ESPN budget. And, and I ain't talking about this ESPN for all these new boxing fans. Get it confused. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I just feel so sad, bro. Nico signed. I can't even. And he was Olympian, right? He won a medal. 2016. Right he won a medal, right? Though, right? Bruh, he went. The, they, they they took him to Kansas with, with Kansas, yeah, with, with Eddie. <laughs> he them, sold man. out. How you How the fuck? Exactly. Just, I don't just fight get in it. Kansas, my nigga. I don't get it either. I don't get it. Just either. fight in Kansas. That's all you got to do. If he's selling out like that, just fight him in Kansas. I don't Why fuck he it. going to bare knuckles and shit? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's a quick lick. Who knows? Is it, is it a multi fight deal or is it just one? Yeah, multi fight, bro. Oh wow! Oh yeah, yeah, man. He big boy tripping. He yeah. big boy tripping. Also on that uh, February first, just for just and giggles, we got the, the channel card with Jose Ramirez and Victor Postal, and a lot of dudes that I have no idea who they are. See, man, um, is this the fight? Which one are you looking at, boy? It's a lot of fights that I didn't even know about. I, Fox January. Sports 1, PBC, Friday, Fight Night Action, Deportes from uh, the Bayou Rivage. I don't know. Yeah, Biloxi, Mississippi. Ain't you by Mississippi? Yeah, I'm not, here. I'm not by Mississippi, but I was born in Mississippi. Mm. So this is the Mike Dallas undercard. Mm-hmm. But I don't know none of these dudes. Look, Omar Juarez, Angel Hernandez, Raimundo Gu- Guadajaro, Clay Collard. Who are these people? Jesse Ramir- Ramos, Bernard yeah, Lebron uh, Figueroa, Bernard Lebron Figueroa. Oh, man. Bro, bro, he got all three names. <laughs> <laughs> he got a uh, sunny back. Yo, that his dad loved boxing and basketball. Look, yeah, Miguel, Sonny, Sonny I, don't, back this I don't know none of these dudes. The one you said sound better with... Uh, oh, Fresh Sean back this weekend. Yeah, dog. She fighting that girl. I might do a lot of fight chat for that. That's on the zone. Absolutely, song. you should. That shit going to be crazy. I got to see that girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the Jesse. Man, it's, it's pretty, pretty, uh, this yeah. is named this weekend. Xander Yair, the Ardono Brothers. Ardono Brothers crazy. back, too. And Jesse yeah. Hart back versus Joe yeah. Smith Jr., but we, but we'll do all that Thursday night. Don't forget flagship Thursday night, seven p.m. Yep, yep. Uh, four p.m. West Thursday Coast. we'll be back if everything goes right. I'm assuming they're gonna reinstate us like 
early Thursday morning. That's when the suspension should be up because I think it was it was Thursday. So it's Thursday okay. to Thursday. Okay, great, great, great. So we, so back we should on the main be back channel. there. We also got Coach Anthony on Saturday morning's uh, show on Board of Wars. You can also ask him any question you want to Coach Anthony. We also got a ax. Uh, Tony Harrison posts on Patreon. I know you guys turn your notifications on so you get those posts whenever we schedule an interview. We're working on Shakur Stevens as well, man. Trying to see what's really good. Get him on the on the, on the, on the, on the, on the show. But I just posted the link for the Tony Harrison. You can ask him a question. We'll be having him on as well. Um, we're just going to out to you guys. Great content, man. That's all we're trying to do. I saw, man. I saw, man. Listen, last year, people probably don't even realize it, but last year was the first year of the of the morning show every single day. So yeah, y'all had us for three hundred and sixty five days. I mean, whatever days I I, I flew yeah, off. Yeah, damn near. Yeah, damn near. Yeah. Couple. But uh, this year is gonna be the second year, so I know it's gonna be bigger. You know what I mean? Because uh, people started noticing last year. We so already now, seen it. You know what I'm saying? Kind of grow from the audience last year to like the audience now. You know what I'm saying? On, on the main channel, at least. You know what I'm saying? We it's pretty. You know what I'm saying? Like. Nice little jump, but I don't know how much is that is that due to the them just, just signing it or the, the UK back back guys AJ one, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, so uh quick super chat here. We got Mr. PBC that says Showtime, Prime Time, all the time. Get baby boy, 25 to life T Bud in the ring. He a plate, a soul food, and sweet tea. He's creative with his super chats. You got to give him that. Yeah, man. Dumb is a very, very good Terrence Crawford su supporter. We got Jaja that says, good interview. Thank you. Thank you. And Wawa that says, Porter beats Crawford. All right. There you go. We going out to Boomerang in Texas. Hoping he watching his weight. Hoping he hitting the gym. Because Donnell, I'll fight anyone Fernandez is hungry and young. Coming for the for that scout. Just saying. JD motherfucker. There's a lot of things I like to do, so man, uh, man. just try to get on my get on my game. Uh, man, man. I don't know why they gonna call me for because I'm a 54 pounder, but uh, I have a brother that's at 160. Yo yo, uh, yeah, I see y'all in about 53 days, man, and count. You know what I'm saying? I. But who's counting, man? Who's counting? But, uh, yo, I, I don't know. I didn't listen to the interview, man. Um, uh, but I wonder if the, the, the question of who guys came in. Listen, listen, man, I vouch for the Cuban fighters, man, and that that's a Cuban that can fight. So I wouldn't mind. And look, if we can't get none of the rest yeah, of the fight. last time you vouch for a nigga that cost you $1,000. I don't need your vouchers. Hey, man, listen. Hey, listen, man. Hey, listen, man. Hold on, man. But uh, <laughs> nah, for real though, man. Um, Ugas, Ugas is a good competitor, man. And um, if we can't get none of the rest of these fights, man, he, look, he, he bruh, he bruh, him, uh, bruh. Uh, now you and I both that was know a bigger rule, right? You and I both know Ugas don't let his hands go enough, man. You know he don't. He ain't. He ain't the Bro, dude. He look, whoa, whoa, whoa! He ain't How you the dude. Impressive? How you look impressive on a pay-per-view card? How you look impressive versus Omar Figueroa? And then people still talk. Yo, he, oh, Girl, Omar, I bomb now? No o Omar started. Face, hold Figueroa. on, hold on. You talking about Omar? I started at one thirty Figueroa. Omar, you talking about I'm Omar? Talking about you talking about Omar? That go in there. No, you talking about Omar? I trained with my sister Figueroa. Come on, stop. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hey, also, man, I'm, I'm talking about the same. Good, I'm talking about the guys. Uh, I'm talking about the old guys who, 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 who fortunately whooped Sean Porter's ass, who y'all trying to throw in the ring with, Crawford. All right, man. I, I bet said that. Yeah, that old guy. Yeah, that same old guy. That's the old guy. He ain't whooped Sean Porter's ass. Not everybody he, thought he lost. And the boys went toe to toe. Not everybody thought he lost. Hey man, that's all I got, man. Shout out to you guys, man. Nigga, waste his whole Get that on, on fight. Dennis. Yo, why you don't say shout out to Daniel Jacobs no more? Cause you lost that thousand. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. His hey, girl, cause he's been disappointing me lately, man. Your girl forbid you to say that shit. She's like, you better not. I told you not to bet that money. <laughs> he ran down on on Rosado. You can't never. 
You got Yo, he got some making nah, he got some making up to do, bro. He got to fight Charlo or somebody, man. I need to see something, man. I, I don't want to see none of this uh whatever that Mexican dude that quit. I, I forgot his name already. That just that fast. <laughs> you talking about Chavez Jr. You talking about motherfucking Mr. Pink Draws. Yeah, whatever. I refuse Yo, to say his name. Yo, he's getting another man. fight. He back that on Instagram crazy. training like a I Border know, Wars fighter. Know. You think it's been brain No, I back? read the article. I know now I, I know. Don't care who you talking about. Now I know he getting another fight. I'm just saying he back on Instagram training like a border wars fight. You see the way go, he, hey, you know, hey, 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 Ness, go, <laughs> go tell that to a hardcore Mexican fan that he got another fight. See if he don't whoop your ass. <laughs> Yo, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Bro, Me- I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. You get your they- ass whooped going to Mexico and talking about Chavez Jr. I wonder if they cut them off completely, though. I ain't sure, man. There's so much. I don't think they have, It's man. so I much think... pride in that Mexican shit, man. Yeah, man. They like, might give them another chance. He might come back against somebody and just have a, like a decent scrap, and they'll be back on the bandwagon. You know the thing okay. is, he got one more fight, just just this last one. So are they going to just give him a win, or are they going to let him get beat up versus like a Callum Smith? That'll be the plan. Callum Smith, Billy Joe Saunders. Hey, we don't care. Ah, you gonna watch it? He'll probably come in about one seventy. You know what I'm saying? Two pounds or over the weight limit. Give Billy Joe a little, little bit more money, or count him a little bit more money, and uh, probably get probably put up a good fight because because uh, against Billy Joe, he I don't he think so, out. Mike. Because um, everybody following the Canelo suit, man. So it's like you miss a pound, I want a mill. That's crazy though, man. Everybody ain't Canelo though. I mean, Jacobs got a meal for the overweight. He yeah, probably, that's, he probably that's got like pounds, 250 though. per pound. Yeah, I'm saying that's like four pounds or something like that. So that, that ain't bad. But Bruh, Canelo the more charging, the merrier, man. <laughs> Canelo charging you a meal per pound, nigga. That's, Yo, you're going to give me a quarter weight. meal per pound. I'm good. And then come in overweight, man. We talk about it on fight night. But depending on, depending on what you're making, you know what I'm saying? If you're making, man, we. First off, you see how big he was when he came in that motherfucker ran. Yeah, that but that ain't, but that ain't mean nothing. If he couldn't get I, if he couldn't get Jacobs out in the first four, yeah, yeah, the over. fatigue and all that weight was going to set in where he can't move. He was he a sin target. He was. I can't believe his dad out here saying in Spanish that his son was doing good up until he got headbutt in his nose, bro. I'm like, bro, you really out here telling your son that was a fucking headbutt? I mean, it was kind of a little bit. Yeah, yeah. If your glove, if the right glove is ahead, the fuck, man. Jacobs uppercut the shit out of him, man. I don't even know how y'all can say anything. That, well, there you go. If you think it was a head, but you know it's Mexicans out there think it was a head, but they gonna ride with him for his next fight. Got the little steel shot, nigga. Get, getting getting the head, face hit by the by damn Jacobs. I seen a little steel shot, so I mean, hey. Steel shot, man. Somebody photoshop. Maybe that's true too. Mm-hmm. Alabama. I want Joshua. Joshua, come and see me, baby. Oh, if no he doesn't hide it, it, no more ducking, no more dodging, no more excuses. Boxerways.com. Nigga, a real Terrence Crawford supporter right here. Thanks for calling in, man. Mike, 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 don't play with me. Shut up. Uh, uh, I ain't need calling in about Terrence Crawford. <laughs> Calling in about the smut that y'all put on that uh that Biloxi car, you know, saying y'all ain't know nobody on the car. You just gonna skip over Dion name like that. I saw Dion name I was said on the Dion, bro. No, let skipped, skipped over the nigga name. Let skipped over the nigga name six he times. He ain't on this. He ain't on this uh press release. Not for the Are Biloxi. He- he on the uh, ESPN.com uh, boxing schedule. All right. Sure. Well, well, this yeah, came out. Yeah. And, and hey, I, 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 put so some that, respect so on they, my man's name. No, somebody need to hit him in the DM and see if he's still on the card. This came out today. Hey, well, tell them niggas get it right. I'm just telling you, say it on box record, say it on ESPN that he supposed to be on the. I'll just try, you know, make sure there ain't no smut on my nigga. Yo, name. Burley Brooks, I know him. He on, yeah. damn. I'm Earl, Earl keeping him busy. He already 5-0. Earl making that bread. He 5-0. Earl, Earl, Earl the real promoter out here, you know what I'm saying? Earl out here really, really getting oh, a fight shit, for Oh, shit, but wait a minute. Oh, so it's the same car you said, because I see now I see coffee name. Yeah, coffee on that bitch, yeah. Yep. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, they go Dion yeah, Nicholson. Oh, hey, oh, oh, shit. shit. Yo, when I was in Alabama, he told me he might fight Earl Newman. I said, Earl Newman? For real? 
I thought you wanted to go hey, hey, down. Is the same Earl from, 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 yes, uh, from, from, from uh, Big Baby Jim. No, nah, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, that the that's the he same. He was at one sixty eight though. No, that's that he lost. The, I'm out. The, I'm out the chat. He lost to Ken, Keith, Keith Tapia. Yes. No, nah, he ain't lost. He ain't lost. I checked his record. Who? Earl Newman. Oh, oh no, never mind, never mind. It say he fights somebody named Brandon Glatton on here. Maybe I'm wrong. Who? Mm. Nah, on the press release to say it say Earl Newman. Dion oh, no, battles. Uh, yeah, it says Dion battles. Bro Yo, Earl Newman even came to our uh, appreciation night in New York. Oh man, yeah, I thought it was like Earl Newman the third though. I like that's why I ain't paying no mind. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, that's crazy. Word is born. Word is born. I told him. I was like, Word, you you ready for that? I swear, I swear, cause he's short. Newman, punch, Newman, man. Newman, six two. Dude, oh, but they, oh, 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 he fought the FA and Tobar yeah, Apaji. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's FA uh, cousin, and he lost to Lionel Thompson, who just beat Ustatagi, and he got a, a split decision draw with Paul Parker. I mean, look, they get him at the right time. If they gonna get him, they better get him now. This, you going to the fight, Javier? Um, I didn't know anything about this, so uh, <laughs> and I don't. I don't like uh, Mississippi Mike. You know that. Nah, fuck you, nigga. I ain't gonna say my joke because you know, see, y'all already got banned one time. I can't say that joke. Uh, but hey, shout out to uh, Errol Spence, uh, Crawford, him with that smoke for real, nigga. Just talking. Uh, I'm glad he cut out. Yo. I I was just about to say that. He started talking about Earl Spence or Crawford. Did Bobby somebody mute secure. you? Did somebody mute you or you? I, I cut out? Yeah. Did you mute yourself? Because you muted yourself or somebody muted you. See, that's that whack shit. Somebody muted you. I don't yeah, know what happened. That, man. All I was saying is... Talk about Crawford, Crawford again. If they, mute Crawford. You, if they mute you, we know it's a Crawford fan. We're going to single them out little by little. Hey, it's all good. Just know, uh, Mike, know what's up. If a car crash can't take Earl down, you think uh, Terry Crawford can? No, tell him yeah, you, when, you nigga made ready, out of man. steel. You know, he did. We got our ongoing bets anyway. So, so, so yeah, we got money ready. on it, Mike. You already know. Whenever whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready. You already know. Just I have know my money. Hi, Javier. Yo, Ness GTO, Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget, head on over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice. Check out that. Ask Tony Harrison a question and go ahead and drop your question. We should be having them on here. Also, ask Coach Anthony a question. That is the pad man and trainer of uh, Tevin Farmer. Plus, he has his own YouTube channels where he does instructional videos on teaching you how to fight. You can check that out. He gets fantastic uh, traction on those videos, man. He's very known. Uh, if you got any questions for Anthony, drop it in our Ask Coach Anthony, a question on Patreon only. Uh, talk to me, Mike. Uh, and that's GTO, Instagram, Twitter. We out. Follow me on IG at Gross1911 or on Twitter at Gross2312, man. Thanks for Bo Mac for the interview, you know what I'm saying? Even though it was kind of cut short, we, we appreciate you coming on. And, uh, yeah, man, get your questions in to Tony, uh, made in Detroit Harrison, you know what I'm saying? We should be having him on sometime soon. I haven't really set, set a date yet, but we are communicating. Follow me on YouTube, too, at Mike on Sports. Until next time. Peace out. Peace.